Hi guys, it's that time. It's our Bible teaching snippet of the day. The last couple of sessions I've been talking about, is Jesus really enough? Today I'm going to kind of go that same direction, but I'm taking a really sharp turn in what I'm teaching. So I want to talk about, was Jesus really enough when it comes to sin? Now again, of course we know the right answer is yes. But is that what we really believe? I want to talk about that. I'm going to tell you a story. I was with a woman, I guess it's been three or four years ago. She's in her 70s. And she was telling me how every night when she goes to bed, she prays that God will forgive her of her sins. I asked her a very important question. Why do you do that? Do you do that because you want to make sure everything is right with God and you want to maintain a relationship with Him and just keep things open? Or are you afraid you're going to go to hell? Well, unfortunately, this nice lady that has been in church her entire life, her answer was, well, I don't want God to be mad at me and send me to hell. Now, that broke my heart because... Now what we see is that Jesus wasn't enough. Jesus got us in the door, but we have to keep begging God to forgive us or we get kicked out. I'm going to give you a scenario. Some of you are parents and you have children. So every day when they come home from school, they see whether or not everything that they own is in the house or on the sidewalk. Some days they know that they've been bad and they expect to see everything they own on the sidewalk. Then there's other days they drive up and they see everything on the sidewalk and they're like, oh my goodness, I have no clue what mom is mad about, but obviously I've done something because all of my belongings are on the sidewalk. Take it a little bit further. Every day when your kid comes home, they walk in the house with a list of all the things that they did wrong that day. And before they can actually come in the house and be a part of your family, they have to come in and apologize to you and make sure that they've made everything right for you and that you're forgiven. You've forgiven them of everything they've done and that way you can still be their parent, they can be your child and they can come inside the house and be part of your family. Did you know when we say that we have to go to God and beg Him and make sure He's forgiven us every day for every sin that we've ever committed, we are doing the exact same thing as what I just said about the kid coming home and making sure everything's right with their mom. So what we're doing, now look, I know that none of y'all would do that. About the third day that your kid come home wanting to crawl up in your lap or sit across the room shaking all over and say, here's all the bad things I did. Will you please forgive me? I'm sorry I'm a horrible kid and I'm not worth being your kid and you should hate me and you should be ashamed of me. How many days would that go on before you stopped it and said, no, <laughs> we're not doing this? When you come home, you're going to talk to me about your friends and what you did at school and did you have fun out on the ball field and all of these great things. Because as a parent's heart, you want to have a good time with your kids. Did you know that we think God loves us to a lesser degree than what we're capable of doing as human beings? I'm going to let that sink in just a minute for you. We think that we are capable of loving our children better than our Creator can love us. After all He's paid through Jesus to get us back into His family, we question His purity in the way that He loves us. Now today I want to wrap this up with a couple of scriptures. You know I'm a Bible teacher and I have to reference the Bible and make sure you understand. In 1 Peter 3.18, right here, it says, For indeed, Christ died for our sins once for all. See, in God's mind, that sin issue has been taken care of. I'm going to go to Hebrews 9.26, and it says, Christ came and appeared only once and once for all time. 
to take away, to nullify and abolish sin. Did you know that all of that has been taken care of? We're the only ones that don't understand that. We just totally don't get that God wants us to walk in sonship, not sinship. He wants us to know that the relationship with him is in great condition. There's no apologies needed, no begging. There's no moving your furniture in and out of your bedroom. You have a home with your father. I pray that this teaching has blessed you. I'm going to keep on rolling, though, because I've got some more good news for you. And so I'll see you again on Facebook, and God bless you.